It's already been a tough few weeks in the relations between the U.S. and North Korea. For the first time since the 80s, a U.S. nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarine docked at a South Korean port, and North Korea launched two more missiles into the sea. And now a surprise defection. Army Private Second Class Travis King, in the Army for just over two years and without combat experience, is believed to have bolted across the border separating the two countries and was taken into North Korean custody. It's believed he was just released from a South Korean prison on assault charges, brought to the airport to be sent home to potentially face additional charges and likely be kicked out of the Army. It seems he was escorted to customs and then got away with a tour group headed to the border. We're closely monitoring and investigating the situation and working to notify the soldiers next of kin uh, and engaging to address this incident. In terms of my concerns, I'm, I'm absolutely foremost concerned about the welfare of our troops. North Korean experts believe the soldier will be tortured. It is very likely that he will be subjected to harsh treatment, especially since he's a member of, um, of the U.S. Armed Forces. So the, the likelihood that he will be tortured, he will face psychological pressure, he will face uh, physical torture, the likelihood of that happening is very high. Now the focus on how to get him back. They can use this as a bargaining chip and say, well, you know, if you uh, want him back, you're going to have to take more troops out of uh, South Korea or get rid of this uh, nuclear, you know, consultative group, something like that, because obviously they have the upper hand. We care about our men and women who serve. In the past, U.S. administrations have refused to take those steps for fear it will encourage more Americans being arrested. But they have done prisoner swaps, scenarios likely being considered in Washington as they wait and wonder what is happening to their soldier who tried to get away. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. Robert Kelly is a professor of political science and diplomacy at the Rusan National University. He says North Korea will likely demand concessions from the U.S. for the return of the soldier. Every two or three years, you get some guy who sort of like runs across a bridge somewhere and these kinds of things happen. You get sort of weird people who have weird ideas about North Korea. You know, they, they read too much Twitter or whatever. Or they, they watch the YouTube videos and they run in there. This has been sort of a running problem for a while. And in fact, the U.S. State Department advises American citizens not to travel to North Korea anymore. I went to North Korea myself about 10 years ago, and I would not go back at this point. I think it's too dangerous. Um, I live here in South Korea, and this is something most of the Americans I know here wouldn't go. I think there's a kind of general interest, right? There's a, there's kind of a strange interest to see what North Korea is like, but I think it's pretty widely understood now that it's too risky. So with this guy, I mean, we just don't know. If I had to guess, he's probably got some kind of mental issues or something like that, or he you know, read some really weird stuff or saw something on, on social media. But there are ways the U.S. and North Korea talk to each other through the U.N. and stuff like that and through third parties and stuff like that. And my guess is right now, again, you know, we don't know all this stuff sort of closed doors, but my guess is right now the Defense Department is sort of like talking to the North Koreans through various counterparties, perhaps the Chinese or something like that, trying to find out, first of all, what happened. Like, like, is this guy okay? I mean, is he, is he mentally ill? And like, what is his deal? Because it's pretty bizarre that you would like run across the border like that. Right. Um, so I think there's going to be some of that. And then basically we're going to have to find out what the North Koreans want. And the, again, my guess is the North Koreans will bring him back. Normally the North Koreans sit in these kinds of people for like six months or something like that. And they extract a bunch of concessions and they put them on TV and they talk about how, you know, they're defeating the American colonialists or something like that. But then eventually they sort of get, they do get rotated back and there's some kind of swap, you know, some, you know, money or something like that on the side.